I'm on the way to get my racket restrung. Tournaments tomorrow. Is this the way to go in the car? Man, that that is the question. You know what I mean? This is the first time I had my new racket restrung since buying it. While the racket was being restrung, I had some time to kill. How's that sound? Does that sound better? It's probably too loud. There are four divisions this time. At most, I will play two matches. If I win the first match, I go to the finals, basically. And the way they have it arranged is actually Nick is on the other side of the bracket for my division. So if he wins, then I will play Nick for the finals which is kind of funny, I play, you know, it's Nick. I haven't had a chance to use the racket with the new strings yet, um, but I'm going a little early so I can get some swings in before my match. It's the same strings and I had it strung at the same pressure as I had last time, except these are 18 gauge where I had 17 gauge before, but I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. Um, definitely not enough of a difference to throw me off for this match, I think. Just showing up, and Nick should be playing right now. I'm gonna look for him. Nick was already done with his match, so I caught up with him and Paul for just a minute before going warm up. Nice. Paul and I are gonna go warm up. After about 20 minutes of warming up, I heard them calling my name to go start my first match. I didn't film the whole thing, but I did get a few action shots. My opponent was Andy. It was a good match, and in the end, I was able to pull out the win. There was only a little over an hour between matches, so I didn't worry about going get something to eat. Instead, I just hung out with some of the people, enjoyed some conversation, and watched some of the other matches. trying to find a spot that's not windy so you can hear me and that's not distracting to the players. Nick won his first match but he lost his second match um, and so the guy who beat Nick is the guy that I'm going to play in the championship in just a little while and Paul also played, he played in a different division and I heard that he won his match so he's going to the championship as well for his division.
wondering what that white stuff floating in the air is, it's from the flowers in the field across the road being blown by the wind. Hey, this is Andy. This is the hey, guy guys. I played in the first match. How'd it go, Andy? It was close. It was 17-4. Um, it's a lot of I fun. I, I think I won the first one, 17-4, right? 17-4, that sounds so, about right. That was and then I came back, it was yeah, incredible. I had a touchdown in the second set. So, well. <laughs> so you started doping in the second set, that's the only reason. Yeah. How'd it go, Paul? The only reason you took it? 4-2. Smoked him. The guy didn't stand a chance. Or was it a girl? Oh, yeah. It was a guy. It was a guy. So you're going to the championship now? Yes, first round. pretty nervous about this next match. This guy beat Nick pretty good from what I understand. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I think it's gonna be a real challenge. Not gonna lie, that match was pretty discouraging. Let that be a lesson to all of us about the importance of perseverance. There is no way that I will become a 5.0 without trials and stumbling blocks. That's just part of the journey. And when I do eventually get there, it'll make it that much sweeter, you know, that much more of an accomplishment. And, you know, that's been consistent with anything I've done in life that took a lot of work. That's part of what makes it worth it. After reviewing the match, I did realize a lot of what was wrong with my game. My psychology was off. Since this guy beat Nick, and Nick told me a few things about his play style, I found that I was 
not really playing myself, but I was playing more reactionary and waiting to see what he would do. For example, one of the things that Nick told me about his match with Uramir was that whenever he went to the net, Uramir was able to hit a backhand winner down the line past him. And knowing that and just from seeing them play and having some rallies with Uramir before my match, I was hesitant to go to the net because I was worried about that. And instead of playing my game and allowing my own aggressive style to flourish in the match, I was hesitant and I held back. You probably saw in one of the shots from the match that I was starting to come up to the net, but I didn't really commit. And he was able to hit it at my feet and went right by me. The rest of the rally was good. I had set it up well, but that lack of commitment cost me that point. So the psychology was off. I also made a, a lot of unforced errors. I didn't show all those in the video, but there were a lot there. A lot of simple things that I just messed up. There were some other things in the match that I realized I could have improved on, but I'm not going to get into all of that right now. For now, I'm just going to keep my work ethic, work harder, but also work smarter. And that's something that this match helped me to realize is I need to think about what I'm doing in terms of what I am practicing, you know, what I spend my time developing outside of the matches. Um, and then bring those things into the game, such as my volleys, my volleys approaching the net, my backhanders, stuff like that. For now, thank you very much for watching this far into the video, and I'll see you next time.